Part 2 The Lock Up You come into my life 15 hours after I start working to find out why my gun locks up. So from here on, on you're with me. Here we can see I put upward pressure on the level goes really downward pressure it binds. Uh, I can see where it binds so we will um, disassemble it and try to uh, show you. These are the parts when I put upward pressure on it it kind of locks itself and it needs a little bit of force to pass over or push in this hook if you can call it that when I push the handle like that rolls over so we have to smooth it out a little bit here go easy a little bit inside here we can see where it rubs um, I don't think this has much to do with the case but it's a little bit of rubbing right here and that rubbing we will see again here where the flat surface and the curved surface interfere there is a little ridge we'll try to smooth that one out again as out and see uh, what happens it's two in the night so my camera cameraman is probably tired so we have to call it a day I've been working for seven hours with this gun same problem have I fixed it yes no I don't know does it work in real life sure do look On their own nice. Again. Look, no. Lock up. That happens when I push it hard to the left, trying to cycle it back. Does it affect it? No. Boom, dead. Okay. Am I inventing the wheel? Does I try to fix a non-existing problem? Only place it is is in my head. Is all guns like this? I don't know. I have only one gun. No friends with those guns. They think it's a crap. Bolt guns and semi-auto and machine guns. That's my kind of friend. Friends. And I'm pissed. Really pissed. <sighs> know what to do. I try to make a movie and show you that I'm a great gunsmith and fix everything, but basically I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> but okay. We'll try to take it apart and I will, if you can avoid this, don't do what I have done. Um, does, it maybe doesn't work. I will end up ruining it, trying to get it to work. But let's see what I have done since last time we tried to make a movie or what we call it. I end up not posting this anyway. No bury it in the delete department but okay here we go now I can zoom here you know when I read the instruction on uh, marlin.com it says Crazy. on these parts just buff them and smooth them do not alter anything, no filing, no banging, just leave it alone. Just basically three, four words on a piece of paper. Could I follow it? No, of course not. This cruise has been up, I don't know, a hundred times this past seven hours. Now it's night again. You know, I will never recover from this. This is a nightmare. Okay, I'll try to... But, when you write something, don't do it. Let's say I tell you something. I say with a ordinary voice. Please, my friend, don't touch this part. I don't say anymore. Will you touch it? Probably. Why? 
Whoop the boat if I say. Don't fuck, don't touch my fucking boat, you will ruin it. Will you listen? No. Probably not. Get your greasy fingers off my gun. Will that help? Yeah. No. I can take an example from my kids. If I'm going out to work on something, take, a take my kids with me. And I park alongside a lake. And I'm worried for my kids. I'm a good father. I look out for threats. Yes. Anything that can do harm them. The only thing that can harm them is me when I get mad. But... I see this lake a hundred yards away and I say, children, please don't go to the lake, you can fall out, you can drown. Okay, I work with my stuff and look up the art lake. I run. Kids, you are sucking wet over your head. I told you, and now it's the screaming part, not to beep 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 go to the lake and then I push them and kick them and rack them and stack them in my car and go home. Say to my wife, watch this motherfucking kid smack the door and go back to whatever I did. I was mad, I ruined my day. <sighs> I'm carried off, away. This, this carries me away. Um, if, let's say for example, a better way, you know, the, what do you call it, pedagogic thing. It's easy to read and easy to understand, but hard to, you know, do in practical life. But let's say, I park with the same lake, look around, oh, there's a threat, there is the lake. If I don't say anything about the lake, don't mention it, don't ever dare to look at it, what's happened? They don't go there. What is the morality here? If you're going to have someone not working on a particular part, don't even mention it. Because then I probably don't know about it. Because the instructions don't tell me to stay away from it. I will do what I'm told and polish away and there's a little bit luck up here, luck up there. I don't care. It's supposed to be like that. This was about gun, not about my beep, 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 beep life. But here we go. If you can zoom here on these parts. If you can come close, my son. I'm not yelling at you, so you can, you can, you know, you can come. This is the lever. Lever. This is the carrier. The carrier. And what actually happens, I should have shown you with the loading gate open or, yeah, no, I'm tired. Basically, what happens? If this is a part and this is a part and this is a part of some piece of fucking crap. Okay. This one is going to be like this. When I cycle it, it lifts my shell or case comes up trying to my bolt is trying to push it into the chamber that part that part it was the wrong way <laughs> that part that part and that part it slides look at all the bluing I've done that a 15 times slides up when I push it back it rolls over this little beep 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 keeps the carrier up when it passes over bang it goes down so I can feel a little uh, restriction when it pass over here as it should but it locks up down here when it locks up and I you know I if I'm out on the bar I always get in trouble because it's a provocation I provocate I, I can't know the English word but okay Publication. I try to make it my moral function and I can do that. This I haven't found a solution for yet. Probably never bother to open the gun again. But I have this surface I've honed. I've honed. Then I get greedy. I took a file and I filed it. You can 
rounded hair, take the sharp edges away, sand it, file it, stone it, smooth it. Am, am, I, am I happier? No. This one, stone, better, best, best way is to take a, and I have a, don't have a, okay, let's say this is a, your grinding paper, sandpaper, or emery paper, what you call it. Do you like this? This will be your best bet. Follow the curves. I did that at least. At last. Polish this one. Polish this one with a paper that can follow everything. Pull up. Polish up. Leave it alone. If you buy the springs <coughs> to smoothen out a violin, you get the hammer spring and the spring for this little sucker. Um, to lock it up. That's everything. If we could have something that smoothened out this one, if it's a problem, here is a spring inside. If I cut a coil of this spring, it will go smoother over. But this is a press fit. I know I can fix that. Cut a coil, but I, did, I haven't done that. But why should I do it? No one mentioned, no one told me ever to do it. Doesn't say any place. Doesn't for instance, I don't have the McPherson book. There's a McPherson book, a guy, I know. don't know, I've heard of it. <clears throat> Why do you come with that gun? That's working, that's yours. I can't do it. You... I know. <laughs> I have a Glock, and she bought the STI. Or SVI, I don't even want to know. And that's working because, you know, my fingers haven't touched it yet. Then it doesn't work. Okay. You can come into trouble when you try to I'll boil it down to nothing. When you try to modify the parts. Because if I that's the scary part. If I try to take away the lockout here. Over here it's it's smooth. It's, it's okay. But here I can lock up. Suddenly I will come to a point because what it really does, it can drop it. So when the big moose is coming or elk or something. And I shot it once in the back, and I need a follow-up shot in the heart or the head or whatever I'm aiming at. Bang, lock it up. What I'm going to say to my hunting bodies then? <laughs> my gun locked up? <laughs> Haven't you fixed it? Uh, so I don't know if I I don't know if I dare to do anymore, or I have to see when I'm waking up and I'm fresh mind, I'm not as negative as I'm at right now. Um it works. It works as a charm. Maybe I cut the coil, maybe I ruin it. The tricky part with this one, it's a one, two, three, four piece part with a spring. Can I buy this part, that part and the spring? No, you can't. It's a whole assembly uh, according to this drawing. This one, I can pile it onto here because I can weld it, I can machine it, I can bring it back to Life. Whatever it was, that I'm capable capable of that. But this hook is a little different. I can make that one also, but it's a lot of work. Will I do more? No. Because you suck. Probably I make a problem out of something that's a problem. When if someone, if I post it, someone sees it, please mail me at motorworksusa at hotmail.com. Tell me if your gun, your gun is like this. Tell me if it's a problem. Tell me how you can fix it. That's my begging for today. Um, okay, basically leave it alone. Do something else. There's a lot of other things you can do with a mauling to smooth it out. No one, no one told me to do it. But I had to do it. So... Friends, goodbye. Leave it alone and goodbye. Oh. Good night. New day and new possibilities. Is this one of them? Lock up. No. Will it function with a case in it, or have I ruined the carrier? No. I'm a lucky man. Uh, I will try to disassemble the gun and show you what I have done so far. Um, I talked about uh, the famous lockup. 
you are probably bored about me talking about this uh, thing but it you know it catch my mind I couldn't do anything about it it could be here or it could be the carrier binding inside so I did a little bit filing here and uh, it didn't uh, improve nothing the problem was here on this spring loaded hook it bind it right here actually I'll file this one I file this one certainly not in function but what actually happened was was the cause of the problem is if this hook I'm trying to draw it the wrong way <laughs> but your way anyway is that the, you know it's supposed to be like this here was a little rich so and it wasn't it didn't follow the curve here so it locked up down here I went in with a triangular file and try to file what happens then this goes down but if you have if you like ice cream you have this one you can use it when you bed your gun or you can actually pick your nose with it or you can break it off and you can take this part you can shove it or stick it or what you know stick it in be happy then this one can't go down ha magic this was a little high don't think it has anything to do with it but I took my triangle file went like this follow the curves and actually it came out like this a little bit this way but doesn't care so that doesn't matter okay remove this one looks like this now very good and then I had fooled a little bit with the angles but I put my triangular file here file a little here file a little there and this was a little higher than this one so when I was it was at it you know with my file I like to file I like to ruin things just file it flat works oh yeah you see this is no film trick this is nothing magic it's I've used the 24 hours or something I have to go to Marlin and get new screws for uh, for my receiver that holds things together because I've had it open in so many times it's ruined oh they're okay they're okay but this is uh, this is the final solution for my problem but I don't recommend you go in here and just file uh, away uh, you know <laughs> look at this video and see if you if you actually need it but if you have a bind look here on my gun at least um, this is end of the uh, boring uh, lock up gun type of problem so